So to start out, you want two, well, I mean, really my rats are separated right now. Um, they both just recently got neutered so that they can come to college with me. So I have them in separate cages, but really you only need one bowl and you wanna make sure it's not something they can tip over. So I always put the rocks in the bottom to keep them from uh, tipping it over and it just makes it a lot harder to do that. Next, you wanna add some coconut milk. I recommend unsweetened um, just because the sugars aren't exactly the best for them. So I am very careful to get dairy-free, gluten-free, and soy-free just to be sure that I know it is pure coconut milk. And you just fill it to your desired amount. I'm gonna be giving them like probably about that much, which isn't too much, but they will be eating it for a while. Um, it is very good for them after they have surgery or something like that. Um, it just, if they're uh, a little bit you know, not wanting to eat as much, which both of my boys are being a little hesitant to eat. I'm going to be putting uh, some of their food in here to make it a little bit more mushy so it takes less work for them to eat. Now I'm going to be adding the pineapple juice. Um, the pineapple juice that I use is 100% juice with no sugar added. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit, not too much, just a little. This step is very unneeded, but um, if you want to, uh, some unsweetened pineapple chunks can also go in there um, and they would probably love to munch on them. Just make sure that um, if you get like just the chunks that you are going to be cutting them or mashing them or something because I'll show you in a second. As you can see, these pineapple chunks are very large. I would not give my boys a whole one. Um, I would be sure to cut it so that they can eat it with their little fingers. Now after you're done cutting the pineapple chunks, you just let it sit for a little bit just to be sure that um, the frozen, since my I freeze my pineapple chunks, so um, I want to be sure that they are fully thawed and that it's not going to be cold on their mouths. Um, and the uh, milk gets a little bit of time to just become a little bit warm, not like full on curdled or anything, but um, a little bit warmer so that they're more inclined to drink it. Um, but other than that, uh, it is done and we'll see if the boys are interested. And we have a hit. Yay, coconut milk, pina coladas, yay. 